So I really didn't plan on recovering the Reclaimer 18 here in Modern Warfare 3, but I got a lot of comments asking me about tax stance. So what I'm going to do today is feature the Reclaimer 18, not only in tax stance, but also while aiming down the sights, so you can see the positives of both. At close range, tax stance is a very good option, but when it comes to more reliable one shot kills, aiming down the sights is simply going to be the more reliable choice because of the tighter spread. So more or less, we're going to be targeting tax stance with the build, but featuring both tax stance and ADS here. So starting us off here with the hinge laugh light stock, this is going to help your movement, which is important when it comes to a shotgun while also helping your tactical stance. Pretty self-explanatory attachment. If you ask me the, at the end of the day, I use this regardless if I'm using tax stance or aiming down the sights. So this attachment works out pretty well. Now for the rear grip, I have the haste XV grip tape for well tax stance spread. We're also getting sprint to fire speed. Normally when I'm going with an ADS build, I am using the center mass grip tape because obviously it's going to increase your ADS, but this is going to significantly help that tax stance by 22% while also giving you 10% to sprint to fire speed. So normally I would go with the DR6 hand stop on this particular weapon, but since we need to target hip fire and tax stance spread, we are going to be using the Bruin Bash and Angle Grip because of the massive amounts to the accuracy aspects, as you can see there. We are sacrificing aim down sight speed, which kind of, uh, I don't know. I personally like aiming down sight here with the Reclaimer, so not exactly the best benefit, but when it comes to tax stance, obviously you need to maximize on all of these categories. An attachment I run with both style of builds is the Bryson Choke by tightening up the shotgun spread by 38%. That's a massive amount while also getting hip fire and tax stance spread once again. So like I keep saying, this is one of those attachments that not only helps your hip fire and tax stance, but also helps the shotgun as a whole, even when in ADS. And the last thing we needed to do here was increase the bullet velocity and damage range with the Discourager 900 heavy barrel. It's going to be a 16% increase there. It's nothing too crazy. It does bring it up, however, which obviously having a longer damage range with a shotgun will only benefit you in virtually every circumstance. I will say when the Reclaimer first came out, I highly disliked it, but one once they fixed and ironed out all the problems with it, it is a very reliable one shot shotgun and probably the best one in the entire game. That's up for debate because I know a lot of people like the Lockwood. There are also people who really like the Haymaker, but I personally think this is the most reliable. So as always, there's the rest of the loadout on the screen. We're going to be jumping over into, well, one of the shipments at this point with however many there are. Can't really predict which one we're going to be playing, but we are going to be playing shipment. So. You guys know what's gonna happen. Get super aggressive, get a lot of kills, have a lot of fun. Make sure you guys hit the like button, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Let's jump into the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy. So I'm gonna be using the Reclaimer 18 here, both aim down sight and tax stance. I wanna make it clear, I'm definitely more fan of ADSing because you have a more consistent one shot kill and I'll feature that throughout the gameplay. I'm gonna start here running it ADSed because it's where I'm most comfortable and it's where I think I can get a streak going the fastest. Ah, uh, ah, uh, let's do that. Ah, uh, no, not the start I was expecting to have. I am in danger and I gotta go. And I still died anyways. All right, so since I died, we'll throw in tax stance. Chopper's in. See, those are the hit markers I'm talking about. I get so many better, consistent kills aimed down sight. So I'm going to go back here. I'm 100% going back to ADS just while they're all around me. Oh, the nades. What can you do? I don't even think he's aiming at me. No big deal. The nades! I might need to switch to a trophy. Wasn't a part of the plan. But I may just have to. That and the gas grenades. Yeah, we're going to chuck on...
All right, we got a second here. We're chucking on a trophy system. Where the heck is it, bro? There's so much in this game. I can't. Okay. All right, give me a second to lock in. I'm lagging. We'll go tax dance. Screw it. I want to feature both. I'm going to have to do it. We're going to keep this advanced UAV flowing. I don't have my trophy system yet. Maybe a nade kill. There we go. So since I haven't died, I don't have the trophy system. So I'm kind of, kind of uh, not scared, but uh, a little passive on rushing at objectives at the moment. Homie's got a cruise missile. See what I mean by the inconsistent hit markers though? That's exactly what I was talking about right there. So we did it in tax dance. Let's aim down the site again and uh, feature the little bit of the longer ranges. I suppose, even though they're all just running at me and they're in my mouth. I mean, what? That was sussy. There's the long shot I'm talking about. Okay, get a reload in, get the advanced UAV out. We got a lot of game here to work with. Now we should have our trophy system. That's the vibey part. They just spawned right there. Destroy that. I need to call this in. Here we go. We got a l again a lot of time. We got two minutes plus whatever's on the hill here. So if we jump this, the time's gonna keep going. Trophy's out. I think they're gonna be over here. I just saw one. Bam. Good job, teammate. They're all going to be over there. I got to scoot over here quick. Yeah, that might be a little far. This isn't like MW2 where you have like the Bryson 800 where you can just shoot that thing across the map. Doesn't work that way.
walked right into it. Homie has the Fennec 45 too. Not really a better close range weapon than that. One more here, can't see him. Still can't see him, bam. Do they have an Overwatch helo out? Is that what I just heard? Or is it my teammates that have it? It's my teammates, okay. Hundred and thirty. That is the one positive of having these choppers is they go to shoot them down and you can get some insane feeds because of it. Because naturally you're going to want to shoot it down. You die to it once. You're just like, oh, I've had enough of this. I want to shoot it down. It's just how it works. All right, they're all right here. Nice. Teammates really took control of this game. We were losing at one point. I did that challenge too. Homie's got the flamethrower on. Literally did the same challenge. Uh, it's gonna be nuke time because teammate, uh, not just yet. It's gonna be now because teams are gonna jump it. Yeah. Long shot. Don't know how he didn't die. They're spawning in front of me. There's your reclaimer, man. Last time. I don't know if I'll cover another shotgun. We'll have to see. Keep it locked with 680. You guys let me know what you think.